Hello everybody, I'm the Polygon Parrot, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a ghost. We're getting started in Blender 2.9. Here we go. Delete that cube. Go to a top-down view. Hit Shift-A. And create a mesh plane. Alright. Hit Tab. And that'll go into Edit Mode, or you can go up here to change the Edit Mode. And we want to add definition. So hit Control r to add loops. And in order to add more, you just have to, you know, roll the middle mouse button. And we want three by three. You can also add more divisions by going to this tab right here and, you know, changing it to whatever number you desire. But we want three by three, so good, good. Select these four vertices. And we want more of a circular look. So we got that. Looking good so far. And... Now we want to add some uh, some depth to this character. So hit the three button, and we're gonna hit G to grab this this face area, but we're gonna also hit Z so that we can go up in the Z direction. All right, looking good so far. I'm loving it. We want to also add more edges to this so that it it sort of gives it more of a wavy bed sheet look when we subdivide it. So you're gonna hit two. And you're going to select these edges. All right. Good. Hit the S again. And I like that. But now you see this vertice right here is kind of wonky. So hit one, G, and then go in the Z direction. Because this will be kind of a, a round shape once it's, uh, once it's subdivided. And we have a pretty decent base for this character. But I want to add one more subdivision to each of these sides. Because... I'm, I'm going to make a face. And there we go. And that's looking pretty good. Now that we have that, <clears throat> we want to subdivide it by clicking Modifier Properties, Add Modifier, Subdivision Surface. Now that's starting to look like a ghost. I like to go to the On Cage button so that I can see where my exact polygons are. And it allows me to have a, a better visual of how I want this, this character to look. And... We have this, this great character now. Hit tab, but we want to smooth it as well. So space bar, shade smooth. And now it's starting to kind of look like a ghost, but he needs eyes. So we're going to select these faces right here. And I'm going to hit the I button, but I need to make them individually. So click the individual button right here in this tab. And that's that's starting to look exactly the way I want. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to deselect that. But I want to make it so these eyes indent. And we're going to go over here to the extrude region and extrude along normals. You're going to get this, this fun looking object. And all you got to do is just either push it in or out if you want it in or out. doesn't matter. It's up to you. And now we have this, this great character, this great little ghost. And I like it a lot. You can mess with the you know, subdivision to give it more or less of a, of a edgy look. So I really like this. All right, now we have this great character that we want a texture. And in order to texture this character, all you're gonna have to do is go over to this little tab right here, the materials property menu and click new. Now, I don't see any textures. So if you want to start seeing them, click this viewport shading button. And there you go. Now we have a white ghost, but I don't want my ghost to be white. So I'm going to change him to a bluish green spectral look. Ooh, spooky. And I want to add another texture now. So the eyeballs are black. And in order to do that, hit this plus button, hit new, and click this color menu and go down to black. And you don't see the texture at all. Even if you click on them, you're like, where is it? So hit the tab menu, hit three, and you're going to select the eye socket. And now that you have this selected, click the black and hit assign. Look at that. You have a great look at ghosts now with colors. Wow. Cool. <laughs> so now that we've done that, uh, we want to, we want to actually apply this filter so that these edges come out the way that they're looking right now in the texture render. And now that we have this, we can add some lighting. And the best thing to do to 
make sure lighting is uh, refracting the best and uh, adding the best appearance for this specifically focused character is to do the three point lighting rule. And we're gonna start out by making our little, little photo shoot studio. Hit shift A, hit plane, and we're gonna expand that. And I'm gonna hit tab two, and you're gonna select these edges. Hit E and hit the Z button so that it goes up. And looking a little too sharp. So you're gonna select these edges and click this bevel button. And when you click the bevel button, it'll add this sort of curve look to it. You're gonna add some segments. I, I'd, I'd go with maybe minimum of 10, but I'm gonna go with 20. And now you have this great room, but it still looks a little sharp. So hit spacebar, type in shade smooth. And there you go. Now you have a great, great lighting box. So people usually do this in order to add focus to a specific model and now we have this great model in a light box room and we need some lighting. So we're gonna add three different lights. Hit shift A and our, our little ghost is, we want him to glow underneath and focus on the front and maybe add some edges to the back. So that's gonna be our three lighting. Um, we're gonna do shift A and let's start out with an area light. And you don't see any light. So you're wondering where's my lighting? All you gotta do is click this button, the viewport shading, and look at that. There's a little light underneath. And the white, the white doesn't really, really match with the character, so we're gonna kind of replicate this this gooey green green go glowing look. Blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. <laughs> and looks great. Uh, I like that. I'm gonna leave that alone. So then we're gonna add a spotlight to the back. And there we go, we got that. And in order to get to this menu, you gotta hit the end button. Um, we're gonna turn it on the x-axis 90 degrees. And this is gonna go behind our character, all right? And we're gonna use the grab tool, the G button, in order to move it around. And hit Z, X, or Y, depending on the plane you want. And this is the Y plane, so we wanna, we wanna keep it consistent with that. And it doesn't look bright enough. So all you gotta do is crank this up, put it at 100, just so it gives it some, some edge. And the radius, we're gonna change it to two. And that's looking pretty good. Crank it up to 200. I like that better. And I don't really want it to be white. I want it to be purple. Yeah, I like purple, so it's gonna be purple. And I don't really like the color of this box, so we're gonna add a new texture to it by going back to this menu, the materials property, hit new. And I also want it to be purple because that's my favorite color. I love purple. And now we're, we're starting to have this, this great character. All right, great looking character. We can always modify the, uh, the lighting anytime we need. So if we really, really want to, we can change it to any way we want. Um, I'm going to actually move this light back a little bit on the y-axis there we go cool looks good and we want to add the lighting in the front so it shows the details of our great ghost because without lighting you're not going to get any details and all you do is hit shift a light spotlight and now we need to change this since we did the x negative 90 because that's where the front is grab it with the g button hit y and no, it's not, it's not exactly bright enough yet, but it's focused on our ghost. And we want to crank this one up to 400. Yeah, that looks great. Looks wonderful. And you can position it, like I said, wherever you feel is best. And I want it to be like super bright on his face. And I like that. And I'm going to change the color to something, oh, something like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. And give it a spooky, glowing green look. There you go. All right, now he looks like he's glowing. That's pretty sweet. And like I said, position it if you want to change it. The closer the light is, the more uh, intensity it's going to have. But I like this. And if there's any like last-minute details you want to modify, 
if you want to change the color again, if you wanted something different, doesn't matter. It's up to you. And I am very satisfied with that. So I'm going to render it now, but we want to make sure the camera is positioned properly. So hit the end button, hit view, camera to view, and then hit N again, and you're going to click this camera. Now it's already been positioned. So if you didn't do this before, you can move it around wherever you want. I'm going to focus on my little ghosty and I'm happy with that. Good. All that's left to do is hit at render, render image. And there you go. You've created a ghost with textures as well as has some great lighting. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I plan on making lots more. So keep your eyes peeled and have a wonderful day.